another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching dark this is the last ever episode this is the eighth episode of the third series hopefully you guys have been enjoying it so far if you'd like to watch today's full episode it is available for free in the link in the description below just click on it put the password in and enjoy so it's going to be really interesting in today's episode it's going to be a long one as well i think it's 73 minutes long this is i believe the longest one we've posted on the channel and it's going to be interesting to see how we conclude the show because every episode so far has been really intense very twisty very turny you know, last episode, we was diving through all of the years. We were so many different years, flicking across different timelines. And basically, we ended the episode uh, with a surprise. And that was Claudia Tiedelman. Yes, the older version that we did see dead in the air gone, young in 1921 version. Uh, alive, meeting older Jonas Adam at the end. So, I mean, that was decent. I'm interested to see, obviously, what her plan is. Because it's all kind of stemmed from her, hasn't it? Let's be honest, you know. We've got the older Jonas Adam. And, uh, basically, he's used all of her notes and um, her workings to basically create uh, this dark matter. And get into this position where he is into the future. And he tried to destroy everything. He tried to destroy the origin. He tried to beat Eve. But I don't know if that actually technically uh, works completely to his plan. And now, obviously, a has been thrown in the works of her arriving at the end of last episode so this one's gonna be really interesting i cannot wait to see what we have in store for us so because it's a long episode let's just jump right into it you know what i mean no more messing about hopefully you guys enjoyed today's if you do please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump in to the last ever episode of dark <laughs> Back to the start, full circle. Also hat einen Anfang. Aber deiner hat kein Ende. Sie besteht auf immer fort. Ich bin hier, damit deine Reise endlich ein Ende findet. Ich habe ihn getötet. Ich habe Martha und den Ursprung getötet. Deine Welt und Evas Welt. Sie beide hätten nie existieren dürfen. Unser Denken ist vom Dualismus geprägt. Schwarz, weiß. Ohne eine dritte Dimension ist nichts vollkommen. Die Triketta. Hm. Mm. Die the thing is. Der dieser Knoten geboren wurde. In der alles seinen Ursprung hat. I was gonna say that. Tannhaus. In der Ursprungswelt. Wo hat er versucht, jemanden von den Toten zurückzuholen? Aber stattdessen hat er seine Welt gespalten. Aber es gibt einen Weg, diesen Knoten zu zerstören. Verhindern, dass in der Ursprungswelt das Reisen durch Raum und Zeit überhaupt erst erfunden wird. She's saying there that there's a way to destroy it, and that's um, basically stopping time travel from ever kind of being created. But, right, okay, so Tan House there was using his machine because basically he wanted to go back in time to stop his son, I believe it was, that got killed or went missing. And, um, you know, he didn't technically, she didn't technically say that he created a time machine. She just said he created both worlds with that machine. From my kind of understanding or remembering, it was them that turned up with the blueprints. I think it was Claudia turned up with the blueprints of the time machine that got him to actually create it. You know what I mean? I don't think he actually physically created the time machine himself. That machine wasn't technically a time machine, was it? It was never successful. Or it could have been, and he just never knew he'd done it right. But I always thought that it was her or whoever come into his shop with the plans, they was the ones that actually created the time machine. And I was saying it's interesting, really, because obviously the way this show does it is without somebody from the future coming back in the past and giving it him then he wouldn't have created the time machine that would have helped from the past get into the future so again at that time it was interesting and it's kind of obvious like when they say it paradise mate they've been waiting for this all the show it's the first time Du erschaffst dich auf ewig neu und sie sich. Sie müssen sterben. Sie alle müssen sterben, damit sie wiedergeboren werden können. But she got the origin wrong then. Was all did I do? Du willst 
deinen Sohn zerstören. Und den Knoten mit ihm. Eva will, dass er lebt. Und muss dafür den Knoten aufrechterhalten. Sie kann nicht anders. Sie wird immer wieder alles dafür tun, dass ihr Sohn lebt. Du willst, dass Jonas lebt. Dass sie alle jemals leben. Dann müssen wir tun, was schon immer geschehen ist. Mm. That's why she killed Jonas. Am Ende werdet ihr immer wieder vor euch selber stehen. Es tut mir leid. All die Jahre habe ich gedacht. Oh, is she not? Ich habe mir lange Zeit gewünscht, dass du der Vater bist. I actually thought he was, after he teased us. Aber es ist besser so. Alles, was ich getan habe. All die Man. Jahre habe ich in beiden Welten nach einem Weg gesucht wie sie leben kann. Alles muss dir so geschehen, wie es schon immer geschehen ist. Oh, it does look a bit older on the, on the right one there, don't it? Jeder Schritt in diesem Labyrinth. Kein Schicksal in der einen Welt. Besser als das andere. Welchen Tag haben wir heute? 8. November. What year? Jahr. 1900. 86. It feels like that was ages ago when it really wasn't, was it? It's probably like 10 episodes ago. 15 episodes ago. Knoten existiert, sind wir in beiden Welten dazu verdammt. Keiner in diesem Knoten kann seinem Schicksal entkommen. Oh no way. Is that as it always was? Or is that new? Aber ich weiß endlich, wie man den Knoten lösen kann. Man kann etwas verändern. Eva weiß das. Sie nutzt das Schlupfloch in deiner Welt, um ihr jüngeres Ich in die eine oder andere Richtung laufen zu lassen. Und ich habe es genutzt, um mich ebenfalls in eine andere Richtung laufen zu lassen. Um damit den Kreislauf endgültig zu brechen. Mate, that's really interesting, but if you're kind of following it, yeah, this Jonas has no reason to not join this Claudia with the information that she's telling him because he has always tried to destroy the knot. Do you know what I mean? He wants to end it, basically. He wants to stop the cycle from continuously repeating itself. And she's come here and offered a solution. She's basically said, look, mate, what you've been doing, what Eva's been doing, it's just continuously sending yourself around on the same cycle over and over again. It's not working. You think it did, but it was wrong. You know, the origin wasn't technically your baby. It was Timehouse when he was trying to first go back and get his son. That, to me, well, that's what I picked up on anyway. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It is quite hard to follow. But then we also started talking about stuff that happened uh that's always happened but it might not happen at the same time in the same location but it still always plays out the same and i picked that up many a times me i've like look mate this scene's happened again but this time it's that person involved in it and it's that one involved in it you know and you know they're climbing out the windows they, they go into this location they're dropping that necklace they're doing this they're having sex there do you know what i mean they've met up in that class they've had a fight over there you know they've gone to the train tracks they've gone into the cave like it might be different people in different areas but like the same actions are occurring and i noticed it a bit to open she's acknowledged it here that although it might not happen in the same location with the same people the same conclusions still come to an end so that was interesting as well and we got the reason why uh, we had one Helga with the bashed ear and the other Helga with the, the bashed eye. And that was because, obviously, this one had uh, Uri come in and beat him up. Now, again, it's interesting because she's saying that, basically, you know, we've been sending people off in different directions and all that, and now we need to do it. We need to use it. This is the way forward to end the cycle once and for all. She is dead! Was soll das? Was ist das? <lacht> das ist so Was ist das? Was eine Zeit ist das? Die Frage ist nicht, welche Zeit, sondern welche Welt. Es gibt einen Weg, wie du nicht zu mir werden musst. Dafür musst du mir vertrauen. In der Timeline now where Helga's just killed Ulrich. Und old 
Well, Claudia is there, not the old one, but mid. Right, basically what he wants to do is instead of Marta and that getting her and then obviously being with them sends them into that timeline and the actions and the events that occur from that because obviously if she was in point A, the consequences and the actions after that time will be different to where she was in point B. And what they're trying to do is stop her from going in the one that she's always consistently going in and bring her over here because then... When she's over here, Francesca and Magnus can't do whatever they've done with her on that side, and it don't play out there, and it plays out differently on this one. And do they need to go to the point where the location, where the time stands and freeze for a couple of seconds? It sounds like it anyway. Papa. It was an accident, no, wasn't it? It was an accident. We're always coming back to this room. Maybe this is the point that stands. I'm not really too sure. Maybe what he could do is just run over and as it's about to pop, just stand next to her. <laughs> that was quite clever. That was quite clever. How do you just move locations and not timelines? Are they in the origin world now? Oh, 21st. See, I'm following that, yeah? I'm following it, actually, I'm following it. But what I, my question would be is, you know, we've been told all the time that if he'd done this and he'd done that and he stopped his staff from doing this, he wouldn't have been created. Do you remember all this stuff left, right, centre or whatever? Is, like, if they go here and prevent... Townhouse from creating this machine, does that mean they prevent their existence themselves? But then the only reason why Regina could be alive is maybe because she hasn't got some sort of connection into those other worlds. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because he's specifically saying, oh, Regina can live. But is that because we don't know who her dad is and he's not part of this kind of different timeline is? You know what I mean? Like, these guys, they're from the created worlds. But, like, maybe Regina's dad or her is from a different one or from the original one. Um, that, again, would be interesting. Because maybe Regina's dad is that kid, uh, a townhouse's kid that's gone missing, or a mum or something. I don't know. It sounds far-fetched, but, like, it can't be as far-fetched as Charlotte having a kid and the kid being Charlotte's mum. That doesn't make sense, does it? So, do you know what I mean? Just throwing stuff out there. Who burnt it last time? I don't think it was him. They hold someone back from the dead. What does that mean? It's a bit complicated to explain. Man muss sie holen, bevor sie gestorben sind. Und ich. Wir sind der Grund dafür, dass alles so passiert. Weil du nicht loslassen kannst, was du willst. Und ich nicht loslassen kann, was ich will. Aber wir sind der Fehler. Deine Welt und meine. Dass wir nie existieren. Ich habe dich bereits erwartet. Ist jeder tot? Nur ein neuer Anfang. Worauf wartest du? She doesn't know that he's working with Claudia, though, does he? You know what I mean? To finish it. Cycle's not going as planned. It's changed. So ist es nicht passiert. Was hast du getan? Unsere beiden Schicksale sind in ewiger Verdammnis miteinander verbunden. Durch beide Welten. Tannhaus hat in der Ursprungswelt alles verloren, was ihm jemals etwas bedeutet hat. Jonas und Martha. Sie müssen ihm den Schmerz nehmen, damit er niemals nach einem Weg sucht, alles rückgängig zu machen. Technically, there could kind of be two options that these could do, be returning to the origin world. They could go back and prevent him from just creating the machine after his son has been found dead, or... They could go back to the origin world and uh, prevent that crash from technically ever happening, which then would save his son, would save the daughter-in-law and the grandchild, 
which then obviously wouldn't put him into like this spiral of trying to fix everything. Do you know what I mean? And create stuff. So be interesting to see where they go. It looks like they're going to the origin world to stop him from making the machine to after the death. But I would like it to see the the prior to it, to be honest. I would like to see um, who his son technically is and and the kid and, and you know, the daughter-in-law. That would be really good as well to see if it's any of the characters that we've technically seen in the show before. Tanaus had versucht in eine Welt zurückzureisen, in der seine Familie noch lebt. Anstattdessen hat er seine Welt gespalten. Für einen kurzen Augenblick wird es eine Brücke geben. Zwischen allen drei Welten. Oh, no way. Is that a mum, Katerina? So what are they doing now, right? Have they found this stop in time where now they can go back and they can go to the origin world prior to the crash happening? Musst du jedes Mal wieder davon anfangen? Kannst du es nicht einmal gut sein lassen? Ich dachte, du willst ihn laden. Hast du mich alle Jahre mal gefragt, ob mich das interessiert? Was ich eigentlich will? Vielleicht alles über Einstein, Rosenbrücken und schwarze Löcher, aber über mich? Über mich weißt du absolut gar nichts. She's called Sonya and he's called Marek or something like that. But what was her child called? Was wir nicht wissen, ein Ozean. Was hat die gerade gesagt? Marek? Ist alles okay? Die Brücke ist gesperrt. Do you know what I mean, right? I was saying a second ago, yeah, they just said to him that your dad loves you and he'll do anything to save you or whatever for you. And I was saying a second ago, as he stormed out, I was saying, do you know what's crazy is? His dad actually loves him loads and he's not realised himself that, like, I don't know, he doesn't show him enough affection or he doesn't you know, tell him enough or he doesn't give him his options to speak or do our choices, you know what I mean? Like, even though he hardcore loves him. I bet there's so many situations like that where the kids are fuming at the parents, but, like, the parents... Hardcore loved him. It's just that he never really show it all or listen to it. And the, uh, do you know what I mean? It is actually interesting because, like you say, a guy changed and created world to try and bring him back. The rain's always torrential here, mate. Oh. Die Brücke ist gesperrt. Dein Sohn denkt, er hat ein paar Engel gesehen. Ich hatte nur plötzlich so ein so ein Gefühl, Schön, dass sie wieder da sein. Ich hab die Betten noch gar nicht abgezogen. Hey, the name. Charlotte. It is Charlotte. Take good care of Charlotte. I'm sure down the line we were told that she thought that he wasn't family. Or he may have told her that story that he wasn't related or something. I don't know. I might have completely, absolutely lost it and misread it. Oh, they're evaporating. I was going to say, like, what's actually happening? Like, if their worlds don't exist, but they do in this one, surely that they can stay here, but it looks like they're dis disappearing. Oh, it reminds me of the originals. To be honest, I'd probably end the show, end the show here, me, but I feel like it's like 15 minutes left. Lasagne noch mal warm machen? Yeah. Yeah. Warte, warte, ich helfe dir. Mach mal. Mach mal eine Flasche auf, oder? Ja, mach mal. Ja, mir doch mal. Hey, Paukel. Sieht viel besser aus. 
Oh ja. Letzten Sommer ist. I don't, I've done this last time. It's just going to be a, a never-ending no. Is that okay? Hey, is that okay? Was soll ich? Ich glaube, ich hatte gerade ein Déjà-vu oder sowas. Ich habe genau das hier letzte Nacht geträumt. Ich habe einen lauten Knall und dann war plötzlich alles dunkel und irgendwie Welt zu Ende. Wenn die Welt heute untergeht. Und ihr hättet einen Wunsch frei. <lacht> Was würdet ihr euch wünschen? Eine Welt ohne Winden. Eine Welt ohne Winden. Eine Welt ohne Winden. Sieht so aus, als ob Winden nicht so einfach gehen würde. Habt ihr schon einen Namen? Ich glaube, ich finde Jonas einen schönen Namen. Oh, Jonas was a good name. That's interesting then. So we finish, uh, you know, it's interesting that we finish with them in existence, to be honest. Uh, now, I was thinking that maybe them going back and preventing the accident from happening would then prevent them from being alive. But I don't think it technically would. It would just prevent maybe the children from being alive because 86 isn't that far ago for these guys, you know. 86 to 2019 um, is only, like I say, 33 years for them. So, like, they was kids in the 86 timeline, so they was in existence, they was. Um... But none of the children, so Magnus, you know, Marta Francesca, Elizabeth, Jonas, um, they're, they're not a thing. Now, interestingly, if you look at the end there, because Helga killed uh, Ulrich in the timeline, then when he moved in, advanced into the future, Ulrich's not even there. Which, it looks like, really, because if you're following that, you know, Hannah may have a child and call it Jonas, which, I mean, it could be grow up to be a different Jonas. It don't have to be the same one. You know what I mean? You can have a kid with the same name and a completely different personality and person altogether, but a Jonas is still going to be fashioned and formed. Now, maybe not Jonas Carvald because um, his dad doesn't seem to be Mikkel. It seems to be a, a, a Vola, which is weird because, again, we never really got why his eye was disappeared. Then when it, why his arm <laughs> was disappeared. And it's just a thing, like... They definitely played it at the show, like, you know, they give him one eye, and when everybody started questioning it, it was like, we'll tease them. And then, like, when he changed worlds, it was like, do you know what, instead of giving him an eye, we'll give him an, half an, uh, an arm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, just to confuse everybody. And again, at the end here, he had his eyes, but he had marks in his face, and how did you get it? Well, it's the second time he's gone to try and tell us this story, and it's the second time we've interrupted and never really found out. And it's just one of them things where it's like, ah, I got you, you know, from the show, and never really explained it. Now, it's interesting to see here how it actually went down because who was charlotte with that i mean who was regina with i don't think she was with, uh, was there any guys at that table apart from um yo i forgot his name but basically charlotte's husband he always ended up with the transgender person he actually always ended seemed like it anyway you know basically cheated on charlotte with the transgender person and then obviously future here or whatever the extension the original world they're together which means that Charlotte and him were never an item, which means that, well, Elizabeth and those kids were never born. Is that right? I'm Hopefully I'm following that correctly. But again, though, for Charlotte to be born, uh, you needed all of the, the other mad stuff to happen as well. You know, we did see the Noah introduction. We did see, obviously, the Agnes and all that. So that side's crazy to think about it. But Charlotte is an actual existing person, uh, baby. And we did see her father was technically not Noah in this timeline. You know, we were told that it was Noah and Elizabeth in all these parallel, like, separate kind of worlds. But then if you look at it here, it was Townhouse's um, son and his, well, obviously his partner, uh, which is interesting because, again, you know, it might not be the same Charlotte, but a Charlotte is in existence. Uh that's what's really interesting. It's, uh, you know, I like as well how we actually had the explanation in this episode that, like, things may play out differently with different people in different locations, but actions are occurring as they always have done. Helga got beat up by uh, Ulrich, but it was a different version of him. 
might have been a different injury, similar, but it was different. And, you know, we've also seen different things happen in the show as well throughout the season of, like, occurrences. And you're like, I've seen that before. It's definitely deja vu. You know, that's happened to this person. And it was explained and, and told here in today's episode, which I thought was decent. You know, one thing that's always lingering in my head, though, is we did bring that officer in last season looking for his brother, slash looking what's going on in Wyndham. We never really got any answers or anything to that. We never found out who his brother truly was. He just died as part of the apocalypse change. Do you reckon that, like, they started that storyline and then people didn't really give a shit about it, to be honest? So they was just like, look, we'll just scrap it in the next season. Don't really matter. Do you know what I mean? He serves his purpose. He's here. He's uncovered the barrels. The, uh, you know, Dark Matter's been released and uh, we could just kill him with everybody else. Because we never really had the Alexander. Oh, yeah, well, it's called Boris. And where did he come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Boris, you know what I mean? Like, where did you come from? Like, you just appeared running, being shot uh, or whatever. It turns out, like, yeah, I think you did tell your son that you killed somebody. It was accidental. Uh, but we never really got any other than that. You know what I mean? He just changed his name. This officer was looking into him. He wanted to find his brother. He didn't find him. Found out he was called Boris. You know, like, his story didn't really, like, play out either. Do you know what I mean? So, like, there's some little things here. And maybe it did get concluded. And I've just missed it. Like I said, these episodes are long. And there's so much information that's in there. I could easily miss and something and gloss over it. But I feel like there's little bits that you could just stab and poke a little thing. And just say, well, we didn't really need that. Or we didn't finish off that. Or why did we start that one? Or is there any reason for that? But, like, in the whole general context of it all, it's all really good. And I actually feel like I follow today's episode which i'm really impressed with if i'm being honest because i do think as well i keep saying it the show can be confusing if you don't sit and like think and proper like put your mind and focus in on it we're especially jumping over all the timelines and different story and the people and the connections but in today's episode i think he understood what he was doing where he was going what he's preventing how he was doing it why and um you know i actually really liked it i think this had to been a great show Okay, that is going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. So, that is the finale wrapped up. That is this show over. Did you like it? Did you not? I fully enjoyed it. I feel like it ended pretty much 20... What? How many episodes should it have been? 10 and 16. Yeah, 26 episodes. I feel like that's probably the perfect amount for a show like this. I don't know how long you can keep extending something on with a similar storyline. Like, to me, it never dragged. It always made sense in terms of if he was following it and um i thought it was really clever the writing and they never tried to push or drag it out you know how many times did you watch the program where they're trying to extend or push or you know linger a storyline moving on into next seasons and drag it out for as long as possible and not here you know i actually was saying that i think that they could have ended the show at the moment where Marta and Jonas disappeared from the road, like, like they evaporated, because it was the acknowledgement that they served and done their purpose. They ended the knot, and they defeated the both worlds. It was the two of them that caused it, and they was the end of it. Their actions actually were successful and prevented the Tyne House from creating the loophole. And do you know all like, that? I think that, like, to me, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have put the last maybe five minutes in, but that's not a negative thing. That's just, I feel like to me, it was just like, that was a signified thing that even though it wasn't the best ending you could have ever done, I feel like it was the, I understand it, it makes total sense, we've done it, we've accomplished it, and we can all be on the same page, like, that makes sense, let's end the show. Now, we kind of got that because we extended a couple of minutes and it was showing the other versions of each other's cells evaporating. The oldest with the beard, the older one, you know what I mean? And them two together, Adam and Eve, you know, we had uh, just the other people just evaporating and showing that it's all been successful. And then we had them around the table at the very end. And basically, it was just saying deja vu. And it's kind of gave us a thing as if to say, hmm, have they been successful or have they not? Or is it going to happen again? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of them, like, you could think it's been successful. And I personally do think it's been successful. Now, I understand that she's got this deja vu. And it may be just because, obviously, um, she's just sitting there around. But I don't know. I feel like they were successful. It's not going to repeat the cycle again. But they may have put that in in case the show ever wanted to be extended into the future. Or they ever wanted to do anything that they could kind of pull it back and tie it to and say, this, this and this surprise this is happening and it can make sense or you could take my approach where i understood what was going on i feel like it's done it and it succeeded and it's like yeah that's a great ending you know what i mean it makes sense and you know i've got to give a clap 
So the story right is, to be honest, because it's absolutely solid to do what these guys have done in connecting all the worlds, all the timelines, all the people, all the connections, all the family trees, all the ups and downs and rounds and rounds, the time travels, the jumps, the loops, you know what I mean, the relationships and everything, the old young, uh, you got the present, you know, you got the three worlds, the timelines, the people, the actors, the characters, the stories, the extensions, you know, the family trees, all of it, the apocalypses, to me it makes sense. I mean, there have been times where I may have been confused here and there a little bit, but like in the majority of it, I thought it's been really good. And I've got to applaud the writing because that is some hard stuff. It actually really, really is. So I'm going to end it on that as a compliment to the show, to the writers. Oh, I've got to say, do you know what? I'm going to compliment uh, the actors as well. I feel like all of the actors have been really good. The young ones have been great as well. I've got to say, I wouldn't say it was like a hidden gem, but like, have you ever, like, I feel like Bridget had done this really well. You know, you had the first season with Daphne and, um, you know, the Duke, um, and they was good actors, and you thought, wow, what a great show, mate. I cannot wait for the second season. And the second season come around, and they wasn't in it. They was not in it, even though they made it so popular and worldwide phenomenon. And the second season become Anthony, and um oh, you know what right i can't even remember the girl that he, he was chasing is it edwina like i'm basically we started the second season with two characters that well one character that wasn't even in the show and this and another character that was just a brother he was just in it a tiny bit and they was given their time and they shined and and you know it, people could say second season was better than the first one even though the first one was amazing and it's always good when people get a little bit of time and then they smash it. And I feel like season one, you know, Marta was just there and she was just Marta. You know, she was Ulrich's kid. Jonas is a bit of a love interest. You know, it's a bit of a thing between him and Bartosz and, you know, stuff like that. And she was there. And then from season two and three, she become kind of like a main character. A lot of storylines. She was acting a lot more and uh, she come a focal point and i feel like she smashed it she got a chance she dominated it and i've got to say well done to her you know um you know i never expected her to if i was watching season one i would never say i would have thought season two and three would be totally about her and Jonas, and they would be dominating it on the screen and they did and i've got to say fair play to them i feel like actress was great stories was great the um the storytelling and everything like that and keeping everybody engaged and and understanding i think was like top as well i feel like overall it's just a great well-rounded show i can't really i can maybe point a few plot holes here and there i just ask questions here and there but like in the majority as a whole and everything that's done and everywhere that we've been and all the people that we've had and the versions of everyone i think it's top jaw so that's where i'm going to end it thanks for checking out today's episode hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always i'll catch you in the next series on the channel cheers guys